You can even Sicily for breakfast. Sicily. Mm. You're in the desert, man. Anything goes. Hey guys, it's Faraday, and guess what? I'm here in Joshua Tree National Park camping. I slept here overnight, and today I am gonna make nachos for breakfast with some chorizo, some avocado, some pickled red onions, so much stuff. Got my cooler here. Okay, let's do this. Let's get into it and make some food. We've got two kinds of cheese, not just one. Actually, I lied. We've got three kinds of cheese because guess what? This is the fucking cooking show and we're gonna eat some goddamn cheese, okay? We've got Oaxacan cheese, we've got Monterey Jack cheese. You can't go wrong with that, right? We've got, oh, what's this? Hello? Uh, oh, queso fresco, yes, three kinds of cheese. There we go. We've got some sour cream. We've got some pickled red onions we made ahead of time. How delicious. We could roll in that footage if we really want to. Put thinly sliced red onion into a small saucepan, cover it with one half cup of white vinegar, a quarter cup of water, one and a half teaspoons each of kosher salt and granulated sugar. Bring it to a simmer and then turn it off and let it sit overnight. And you're ready to go to make some breakfast nachos when you wake up camping. Nachos are not that hard. Nacho hard, not so hard, nacho hard. You get it. We're going for it, okay? So we're doing chorizo in our nachos. We're using a Spanish style chorizo here. What makes it special is obviously that beautiful red color that we're getting from a smoked paprika. And we're gonna crisp this up and then layer it in these nachos, okay? So we're here in beautiful Joshua Tree, which is the convergence of two different deserts. We've got the high desert, which is the Mojave Desert, and we've got the low desert, which is the Colorado Desert. And we're here right in the middle in Joshua Tree. It's a beautiful place. It's very spiritual. I slept here overnight under the stars, and I, I really, I feel like I'm a changed person. I'm not. I'm the same horrible person I've always been. Bing. Anyways, let's throw our chorizo in here. Oh, sizzling. I'm gonna add this in and get it nice and crisp. And while this cooks, I'll prep some other things. We cooked some black beans earlier. Roll that footage of me boiling some beans. That's always fun. So for our breakfast nachos, I've got some beautiful dried black beans. I soaked some overnight, covered them with two cups of water. You can see the difference. Look at that. Look at this difference in color. We're gonna cover them with water, bring it to a simmer, and just let these guys cook. They're looking good. Ooh, hot. But they're just the right kind of texture. So we're gonna zest in a little bit of lime into this. We're gonna put some olive oil. We're gonna do some salt. Now this is just a really basic kind of little black bean mash. It's nothing fancy. Maybe a little cracked pepper right on in there. And look at my little roll of spices. I'm a spice girl now. Cut to uh, if you wanna be my lover, right? That's great. All right, we're gonna dump in some chili powder right on in there. Squeeze in our lime juice. Oh yeah. We're going to mash up our beans just slightly. And you could do this ahead of time. You could also use canned beans. I find this is so easy and I want to do the beans table side because I want like, the zest and the juice to be really pungent. Let's give it a little taste. Mmm, yep. We're also gonna add in some tomatoes. Oops, oh god, oh god, oh god. I got the runaway tomatoes. All right, we're gonna roughly chop our tomatoes. My chorizo is looking good. I'm gonna cut the heat and I'm gonna take this out and then we're gonna build our nachos in this cast iron. So this is the great thing about nachos when you're camping is that it's a one pot meal essentially. You could do it directly in aluminum foil then you don't even need like a cast iron. But I kinda like the cast iron because I don't know, cast irons are the best. I mean, you're not gonna backpack with a cast iron, that's for sure. I'm gonna put that right on in. Look how crispy and delicious that is. So we're gonna build our nachos now. This is probably the hardest part about making nachos is just building them. You wanna make sure you have good layers of every single thing. You, got, you gotta have the cheese as the glue that binds all together. I'm gonna turn this back on. We're gonna layer some chips on the old bottom here. 
this. We've got our two kinds of cheeses, mix all in here. A little bit of cheese on top of all that. And now this is the most important part. This is like, you wanna make sure you get cheese and toppings in every layer. We're gonna do tomatoes as well. Now, in everything that I'm adding to this, I'm adding for a reason. Like, we're using the cheese because it's obviously our glue. It's delicious. We're gonna do some tomatoes. So you could do salsa if you wanted instead, but I just really like tomatoes. We're gonna do some of these beautiful, citrusy, limey black beans as well. Oh, you can hear it sizzling already. We've got our delicious chorizo. Oh man, this is good. Snack and chorizo too. We're gonna throw some pickled onions over this as well. Some layers of that. All right, we're gonna do some more chips. And the chips are really important. Get some good chips, you know? You don't wanna mess around with the bad chips. We're gonna do more cheese. Get it in there, don't be shy. More tomatoes. We got more chorizo, more of the beans. Spread it out nicely. A few more red onions, maybe. A little bit more cheese. Lid is going on. We're gonna wait for our, the cheese to melt. While that goes, we can make our lime crema. So we've got our nice sour cream. We're gonna add in some lime zest. We're just gonna do a little bit of salt, some lime juice. This is gonna go really nicely with the beans that are also super limey right now. Crema for the top. So these eggs are pretty awesome. As I was coming out here to the desert, I was able to steal some chicken eggs today. Look at these beautiful farm fresh eggs. Aren't they amazing? I even held a chicken. Roll that footage, would ya? Okay, so I'm staying at this amazing ranch that has chickens. So I figured I might as well get some eggs for my breakfast nachos for tomorrow morning. Oh God, gonna distract them with some worms. <laughs> distract them. Look at these fresh eggs. Thank you, mother hens. Oh, this little cutie, how beautiful. Should I try to pick one up? I don't know if I'm too scared. I touched it. Don't you go away, you go away. I did it. I'm holding it. Hi. They like their bellies rubbed. <laughs> oh my God, this is fucking crazy. I've never held a chicken. This is how I get salmonella. I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it down. There you go. Good girl. I did it. Eggs, let's leave. Bye. Okay, so let's do a little bit of oil in here. Put an egg on it, you can call it breakfast, honestly. A little seasoning on it. Beautiful. Okay, while this is happening, we're gonna do some avocado. Get some really beautiful avocados out here. Don't give yourself avocado hand, right? How do you do it? By going like this. And then you, get, you cut right through and get your cut your finger off, but I didn't do it because I'm a professional, okay? Oh yeah, they're looking good. I'm gonna turn the heat off the nachos, let those sit while the eggs are going. We're just gonna do some thin slices of the old avo. Don't forget to season them. And we're gonna do some black pepper on it. We're gonna do some slices of jalapeno as well. We'll do some lime wedges to serve it with. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this looks so good. We'll put these little eggs on top. And then we're gonna do some jalapeno, avocado, a little bit of queso fresco, a little bit more of our pickled red onions. Look at these beauties. Oh, that's nice. I like to do a big old friggin' dollop of the crema. Right. A little bit more cilantro. It's like a work of art. I'm like an artist right now. Happy little, happy little Joshua trees. <laughs> Let's try these guys out. Mmm. Mmm. They're so good. This is the breakfast of champions. Especially when you're camping. Like, you can't beat this for camping. Like, yeah, you could just do like something really simple, but 
This is even more simple and it's so good and it's gonna feed a crowd. You've got such freshness from the ingredients. The jalapeno is so good. This crema, it's like really bright with the lime flavor and everything. For the recipe, click the link below. Seriously, you gotta hide this from the coyotes. See you later. So how many breakfast episodes have we done? Baked bacon and eggs, breakfast quesadilla, meatloaf breakfast sandwich, jalapeno popper monkey bread. If you wanna say that the Pizza piano was breakfast, that could be breakfast. Chicken and waffles, breakfast pasta, coconut French toast, green eggs and bacon. Oh my God, breakfast nachos, 10. You motherfuckers love breakfast and I'm just feeding it to you.